What? Nothing. It's just... I've never seen anything like this, that's all. You mean the woods? Yeah. Never walked in the woods. It's kind of cool. <laughs> Alright guys, welcome back to The Last of Us Remastered. I'm Dude Long Couch, and as promised, we're picking up right where we left off. If she was up to the task, why'd she drop you off on us? Well, maybe she's better now. Kid, I don't mean to upset you, but your friend's chances of survival weren't too high to begin with. She's a lot tougher than you think. It don't matter. Because I doubt I can get either one of us back into the city in one piece. Trust me. I wish there were some other option. Me too. Whoa, what the hell is that? Did some kind of wildlife just run past me? That's cool. Right. So this is where... Oh, that popping. Jesus. And I guess Ellie was talking to some kind of animal that I miss. So I think there's some parts up here. Or at least... Well, there definitely were the last time I played this game. I don't know why they're not there now. Oh, jeez. Hard mode. All right, let's just keep moving on. So I gotta be honest with you guys, I am crazy excited to be doing this right now because this is probably my favorite part in the whole game. This whole next uh, section coming up for the next like I don't know hour and a half to two hours, the stuff we're gonna be doing. I just love this part of the game. Oh shit. Should we climb it? No. Wire on the top of it. We gotta find a way to go around. <laughs> <laughs> fireflies. I mean, real fireflies. Yeah, I see that. Sorry. I lost myself for a sec. <laughs> Once again, I have to note that it's those kinds of interactions that really make this game special, in my opinion. It's just the writing, the acting, the way it all kind of comes together. There's no other game quite like this. Yeah, no around here either. Alright, so we're definitely going to need this plank. And I think we want it right up here. Now, is this where we get the modified weapon? Yeah. This is what's up right here. Improve any melee weapon to kill enemies with one hit. The upgrade has limited uses, however. It will break off when its durability has depleted. So basically, you can make these melee weapons that... Uh, We'll do a one-hit kill whenever you hit somebody or something with it. Right now, you can only use it once go. before it'll break. But it's a free kill. It's an instant kill on whatever you choose to use it on, which is, like, insanely helpful. Hey, you, Bill. Where do you usually meet him? Huh? Different places. You've never been here, have you? I know this is where he lives, but no, I ain't never been here personally. <sighs> And that smoke, you think that's him? Sure as hell better be. Well, let's go check it out then. All right, come on. That's the plan, Ellie. Alright. Let's see, what am, I, what am I working with here? I've got... A rifle. That thing. One Molotov, one med kit, and no brick or bottle. Down here. Alright, well, gotta remedy that right Just away. Good. It's a good drop. I don't know if you guys just heard that, but I definitely just heard some kind of creature making noise. Some kind of infected. And I'm pretty sure there's a clicker right in this little... What is that? Shit. Right in that building right there. Yep. So... Let's see, I have two shivs. I can make one more. 
No, I can't. Come on, come on. Why can't I make a shiv? Is my tape not full? Is there like a ball hair left on that uh, meter that I can't see? Because that's really annoying if that's the case. Alright, so in the interest of just being safe, I'm just going to take this guy out. And I'm pretty sure there's another one down there that's going to come at me. But I'll deal with that after I beat this guy to death. Okay, he's going after Ellie. Oh! Oh! Oh yeah, Ellie! Oh man. Oh, that was awesome. Okay. I am slightly upset that it didn't let me beat him to death with my brick, because I was trying to save my uh my one hit melee attack. But whatever. At least now they're gone and I can run around here freely. And I'm still left with the pipe, which is a much better melee weapon than the uh, that wooden 2x4 that I had. You can see it's it's kind of like health indicator down there. It's got way more hits. Are you alright? I'm trying to learn how to whistle. You don't know how to whistle. Well, does it sound like I know how to whistle? No, it does not. Just give me a second. Ammo. Parts. The hell? Oh. Something. Collect more pills, see if I can scrounge up some extra ammo. I only have three weeks until the, the next drop off with Tess. So that's a note from Bill. They mentioned Bill earlier as uh, Joel's kind of buddy who lives here. I don't want to spoil anything, but I fucking love Bill. He's one of my favorite characters in this game. I'll take the brick instead of the bottle. And pretty sure this is a shiv door. Yep. Let's use it up. Reveal your secrets. Alcohol, pills. More parts. Ooh, three rifle shots. I love it. Wait a minute. I already had six. I guess you can only carry a max of seven in hard mode. That makes me want to cry. And I have 30 pills, so I can now upgrade listen mode distance. I think I'll go ahead and do that. I think one level of that will be helpful. And next I'll probably save up for either maximum health or shiv master which uh, is when you use a shiv to save yourself when grabbed by a clicker. I don't know if I if that's really worth it. I'd, I kind of always have like an internal struggle about that. Oh, shit. It's jammed from the other side. Here, boost me up. No, that's not such a good idea. Well, I can't boost you up. How else are we going to open it? All right. She makes a good point. Give me your foot. Now, just open it. Nothing else. Sure thing. Careful. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Ta-da! Good job. Thank you. There's another pipe that we could switch out, but it's literally exactly the same thing. From this buddy of yours, then what? Well, then we go find Tommy. Marlene said he's your brother. And more importantly, he was a firefly. He know where to take you. Oh, okay. He lives far from here, which is why we need the car. Hey, look. <laughs> gnomes. Yeah, those are gnomes. Man, I had an art book filled with these. I always thought they were super cute. 
Not fairies, though. They creep me out. Alright, man. Hey, at least they're not the fairies from Ocarina of Time. Those fairies were fucking creepy. That'd be fun to do a Let's Play of that game someday. I don't even know if I could record off an N64, though. To be honest with you. Alright, so I'm going to try to get through this as quickly as possible, because this whole section here is basically one big wall crawl, trying to find items and points of interest and stuff. Not a whole lot in the way of action. And I think I know where most things are that you would care about, so I'll try not to waste a whole lot of time. Would you play this before? No. Nah. But I had a friend that knew everything about this game. Apparently, there's this character called Angel Knives who... What was it? She'd punch a hole through your stomach before kicking your head off. Uh, I was never a big fan of these things. I wish I could play it. Me too. I'd play Angel Knives. Oh, can't pick up those. Let's see. Now I can craft... Do I want to craft another shiv or mod my melee weapon? Uh, these are the kinds of choices. You never really know what's going to serve you best. I like having two shivs on hand because I always want to have one in the event that I find a shiv door. And then you always want to have that extra one in the event that you actually need to shiv a motherfucker. So I, th I think like two is like kind of like the minimum you should keep. So I'll go ahead and make that. Whoops. Is there anything back here? Mm, oh. Parts. Almost missed it. I should have a decent number of parts next time I get to a bench, but I, I still need those level 1 tools to make the stuff that I want to make. Are you a shiv door? What about you? No? Okay. Now, I'm not sure. I think there might be something up on the second level of this house. Or it might be nothing at all, but let's go check real quick. more parts and can't get in the door but it was worth it to grab the parts so that arcade game that she was looking at in there that's kind of a reference to the DLC content called Left Behind yeah if you didn't know the DLC is actually a prequel to this game it takes place uh, during the time that she uh, spoke about before when she was bitten in the mall with her best friend uh, the girl named Riley so it's kind of neat. It's a really cool tie-in if uh, if you ever play the DLC. And I think eventually I will cover that uh, during this LP. I'll probably do that last after everything else. Just so it's done like chronologically. Might be a while because this is a long game. Yeah, it's Bill's handiwork. Anybody else live in this house? As far as I know, it's just him. Just Bill. All right. Now we definitely want to come down here and we want to grab this note. It's a note to Bob. I'm not leaving town without that safe. Help Brad load it into the pickup. And in case you need to get in, that's the combination. So that should tell you there's a safe and a pickup truck somewhere around here. And I think it's right up here. It's somewhere on this side. I've said it before, this isn't like a 100% walkthrough or anything like that, because I don't know everything about this game, but I do know the stuff that I found before. Wow, three more rifle shots. Oh god, I wish I could take those. That, mm, that, that hurts me to leave behind rifle ammo like that. It really hurts. Hmm, but that's the price of playing on hard mode, I guess. All right, now in here, I believe there's a couple things to grab. Whoa, look at this place. Okay. 
I try not to miss any interactions with Ellie because, like I said, I just I love that part of the game. The whole relationship between those two and uh, everything they do to build it up. Goddamn infected showing up much too close to the church. Safe house. Looks like I'm going to need to do another round of clearing of the weak spots of the perimeter. So there's all these notes laying around from Bill kind of giving you context of the kind of dude he is and the way that he lives. He's like a loner living way out here all by himself. Kind of a little crazy because he like never has human interaction. But I, I fucking love him. Man, this is kind of sad. What is? All this music that's just sitting here. No one's around to listen to it. I don't know. It doesn't seem right. All this music probably sucked anyway. I can't believe how much crappy music there is in the world. Alright. You guys see that line? Jesus! Whoa, Nelly! What the hell was that? That would be one of Bill's traps. Your friend a bit paranoid, maybe? No, that's putting it lightly. Yep. What's the deal with this guy? Well, he helped us smuggle stuff into the cities. He knows how to find things. Let's hope we don't blow up trying to find him. Just watch your step, you'll be fine. Another shiv door. So yeah, now we gotta watch out for those kinds of traps as we keep going forward. Explosive lines and shit like that. So there are a fair number of them. Uh, I guess that's everything in here. What are my pills at now? 45. That's a good number. Crafting speed and healing speed. I understand why they're in there, but I don't really care. I don't think they're really all that helpful. And I just think there's it's way better to spend your pills on the other stuff. Jeez, feel good with a bow? I reckon he is. Arrows. No trespassers. Well, we are going to trespass, whether you like it or not. You will be shot on sight. You better bring it. shot with that thing. How about we just leave this kind of stuff to me? Well, we could both be armed. Cover each other. I don't think so. <laughs> He's just like, nope. So the bow is a pretty cool weapon. It's uh, the silent killer. I've heard people say that like you should upgrade the hell out of the bow, and it becomes one of the best things in your arsenal. Here. I don't know if that's it. true or not. It certainly could be. I've never used it as like a primary weapon or anything. It's, it's something that I only use situationally. It's really good for clickers. Clear, come on up. All right. Like especially if they're not moving or anything. If they're if they're the kind of infected that are just standing still and giving you a an easy headshot. It is a good way to like get somebody out of your way silently without attracting all the other attention. <clears throat> Now, here's a little target practice. Shit. You can just ignore this guy if you want to. You can just, you can honestly just walk right past him. He has no idea you're here. But it's a good chance to test this thing out. You know, when they don't know that you're there, take your time, line up a headshot. And one shot to the head will usually kill them immediately. Now listen. Bill ain't exactly the most stable of individuals. So when we get there, you let me do the talking. You understand? I understand. You gotta be clear on this. You, you don't take too kindly to strangers. All right. Bill's a good guy. He just definitely needs some time warming up to you. So. <laughs> I love the way that Joel describes Bill. 
Like, he sounds like he's talking about, like, the kind of friends people have where, like, they you know that your friend is an asshole, but you like him anyway. So you're trying to, like, like justify him to other people. You're trying to, like, explain, like, why you like him. You're trying to, like, make it sound like he's not as big of an asshole as he is. That's the impression I get, anyway. Alright, so this one we should be able to just walk under. See that wire? Stay underneath it, okay? Just keep your head low and you'll be fine. All right. It, she waited till the last second to duck down. Uh-oh. Look at this. You hear that? Yeah. No fear, bitches. Shit, you're gonna go in there? I wanna see what we can find. You're gonna find my body or I die from a heart attack. Don't worry. I got this. Relax, Ellie. It's all good. Oh, shit. That thing scared the shit out of me. Well, while we're here, let's... Search the place. So what I should have done there was grabbed him after I hit him with the brick, because then I could have knocked him out without using my melee weapon. But I just didn't do it right. A note to Rachel. Soldiers are going door to door, forcing people into buses. I hear a couple yelling. I hear yelling a couple of buildings down. Blah, blah, blah. Go to the quarantine zone. You think they ever found each other? How the hell would I know? Well, I'd like to think they did. Yeah, it's a stupid question, Ellie. How would I know? I'll be an idiot. Alright. So, we got the pills. A little bit of rags. Huh? I guess... That dude was a sailor and Santa Claus. Sailor Santa Claus. Pretty interesting guy. Alright, there's nothing else in here. I thought there was more. But we got pills. It's good enough for me. Let's get the hell out of here. Alright, we're gonna need a couple bottles. Because there's a couple traps here. Um those lines right there. You can walk into them if you want. It's not going to end well. You can also shoot them, but that's dumb because you're wasting ammo. So instead of all that shit, just use a bottle. Oh shit. Things are awesome. There's one way to do it. Yeah, let's come get this other one. What the fuck? What's up with that door up there? Is there some way to get up there? Or was I already there? Or is that where we come out? Uh, that looks like an accessible area, but I have no idea... If that's like, if that's a real place to get to. Or if we'll get there later or something. I never really noticed that up there. Hmm. Oh well. Wow. Eight shots for that? Oh, right, because there's a part coming up. Oh, zip my lips. Right. Use up the bottle, take the brick. Um, can't go that way. Just stay close. <laughs> Alright, so... I guess 18 is the limit for this gun. That's not a bad limit. That's a pretty decent amount of shots. Right, come on. I got you. God damn it, Bill. What just happened? Another one of Bill's stupid traps. There. That fridge, it looks like that's a counterweight. Okay. Cut that rope, and it'll bring me down. 
On it! Oh boy. So this part can be pretty difficult. And I don't know how many attacks you can take on hard mode. Oh, Jesus. Fuck. Ooh, headshot. Oh my god, why? God damn it! Why did I only get three shots before he reloaded? Alright guys, so this part's pretty difficult. And, uh... Yeah, you can't take too many hits before it's game over. So you kinda gotta be on point shooting these motherfuckers. Fuck. This shit died already. Hey, Tom, Ellie. Hold on. Okay, I think the hard part's over. You can do it. I think now they're going to go after her. And she's way more resilient than I am. Damn it. Uh, come on. It's not cutting. Not either. Just hurry. <laughs> Jesus Christ, there's like Could eight of them. Why do I only get one shot after a reload? That's, that's one thing I don't understand about this part, is you don't get your full six shots when you reload. Well now apparently I do. But before I wasn't. Wow, that is a hard shot. Fuck's sake, man. There we go. And I'm pretty sure they give you unlimited ammo, too. Because if they didn't, this would be fucking impossible. Okay. Okay. Woo! Made it. Oh yeah. Get off your ass on your feet. Running time. Oh, oh, that way sucks. Let's go back. I didn't want to leave it behind. That's a scenario right there. Holy shit! Get off me! Okay. What was I trying to say? That's a scenario right there where, uh... Crafting speed would actually be helpful. Only because I'm greedy. Man, that was close. Uh, thanks for the heroics and all. Uh, 
Ellie. Hey, what are you... Joel? Bill! What are you doing? Bill! Turn around and get on your knees. Just calm down a second. Turn around All right. and get on your knees! Don't test me! Just take it easy. Are there any bites? No. Anything sprouting? Oh, God damn it, I'm clean! If I see so much as a drug. Ow! Stop! Son of a bitch! You done? Am I done? You come into my house, you set off all my traps, you damn near break my shooting arm. Who the fuck is this punk and what's she doing here? I am none of your goddamn business, and we're here because you owe Joel some favors. And oh. you can start by taking these off. I owe Joel some favors. Is this some kind of joke? I'll cut to the chase. I need a car. Well, it is a joke. Joel needs a car. Well, if I had one that works, which I sure as hell don't, what makes you think I'd just give it to you? Huh? Yeah, sure, Joel, go ahead. Take my car. Take all my food, too, while you're at it. By the looks of it, you could lose some of that food. You listen to me, you little shit. No, fuck you! You handcuff me! I need you to shut up. All right? Whatever favors you think I owe you ain't worth that much. Actually, Bill, they are. Well, it don't matter, because I don't have a car that works. But there is one in this town. Parts. There are parts in this town. Meaning that you could fix one up. All right. If I'm gonna do this, there's some gear I'm gonna need. All right. It's on the other side of town. Now you help me go gather it, and maybe I can put something together that runs. But after this, I owe you nothing. That's fine. A couple of days from now, we'll probably be dead anyway. Good. Follow me. Oh, goddamn town's booby trap. Best stay right on my ass. Can't miss it. Knock it off.